Hi, my name is Thaddeus Kamarowski. I'm just creating uh, this follow-up video for anybody that's interested in using uh, Brush Ninja. I sent out a camp-wide kind of uh, recommendation for uh, a great creative um, web free website that students can use. And this is a website you can use for a lot of different content areas. I think I sent out one with a GIF I created. It was a basic math problem of how you have six groups of four and that creates 24. So uh, this is actually just um, a video I'm creating to kind of uh, if you want to actually use this in your classroom. So you can go to the gallery and see uh, student submitted work. Okay, and it's just like a, it's not educational. I guess it's just kind of fun thing. Maybe it's to introduce introduction to them something. I would I would recommend maybe doing a fun activity first so that way they can get to. Uh, learn how to do it. If you click on the teachers here, it actually has different recommendations on how to use Brush Ninja, and uh, which are really helpful. Um, if you can go to that, um, you can check that out. Uh, but when you first go to Brush Ninja, this is uh, the blank canvas that you come up with. So you got your um, pointer here, which is actually just creating windows to selection. It's like basically a selection tool. Okay. Then you got your paintbrush. And you got your basic shapes. You can create basic shapes, like you can create a square or something like that. You know, I won't do that. Um, then you have your line thickness. You know, that's actually just shown right here. That's up there all the time. And then you got your text, which you can type different text. So you decide out what color it is, what size it needs to be, what font you're going to use, stuff like that. Those kind of things. So it's pretty uh, straightforward. Then at the bottom here, you have your uh, play. If you're like so you can create multiple different like um, frames, I guess, is what it is in animation. And so that's how you're creating the GIF. And this play button is actually if you want to like preview that before you save and publish or you you know save that. Um, this is actually if you want to change the background. It's like you can upload your own backgrounds. You can search for image online stuff like that. I'll close that. And this is where you want to ch if you're changing your speed. That's actually making the playback slower, so that means you've got to create more frames, so the frames per second. So you have uh, more time, you've got to create more frames, or else it kind of gets really slow and laggy, or it seems kind of laggy. Um, the one that comes with that standard six is, is great. That's what I, I prefer that one. I, I don't really change that at all. Um, so it does you one frame of one of one. So to start with, actually, to show you how I created this one, and this is I just created this um, without any kind of inserting different things. So I had this white background. I changed it to I think yellow here. You can choose whatever color you want to, like maybe a black. But I started with like maybe just drawing something in. Um, a really good. I guess idea to stay with when you're creating a uh, creating a GIF or an animation is actually you want to draw one thing and then duplicate that to create the next frame. Okay, so I can show you progression and show you that. So you can start with six and then just duplicate that frame. Then now you want to draw the plus sign. It's showing you the timeline of you know, you're doing things, and then you can do like four. And then draw one thing, go to duplicate, and uh, maybe want to do the next one where you draw the yellow circles, where it's, you draw one circle, duplicate that, two. So it takes a little bit of time to draw this stuff when you to, like add different pictures and stuff. So it's nothing they're going to do in like 20 minutes. It's going to take them a whole class period at least to do this. So I've got, I'm going to go through this kind of quick. So I've got like the four things here. Now if I want to change that to blue, I can duplicate that now and actually then each little dot will be its own little slide. So that way it shows me um, creating those. So I've got the six little dots here. And if I was, yeah, this should probably be bigger, but oh, anyway. So we can click on the plus sign and, I mean, I'm sorry, the play button and actually check our playback. So you see how that actually is going through in this kind of um, preview of your um, GIF will look like. Okay, so you can click play, pause there, and what you want to do now, when you're ready to download that thing, 
Then um, also one thing that's actually really helpful, I didn't forget to tell you, that you can open up a new one, um, stuff like that. I would pretty much just start with a scratch one. So, um, and don't worry about saving it. Um, but something that's really helpful is it's called this onion skin. The onion skinning. So that will tell you, um, say if you're, uh, well actually I'll delete all that stuff. I'll copy that. And maybe I'll, if I want to move something, I can select it. So I've created this and it will show where that is. So if I want to like grab something and move it and then create another copy there, then it's actually going to, I can window that again with a little more. And so I can see that the original uh, location of that four was here and that's back here and so I've moved a little bit a little bit more and so you can click on the duplicate thing and just move it select it again and again move it a little bit more okay and then push the play button here to check that so my four kind of moves around a little bit so that's a really um, good thing to use uh, and helps you actually kind of lay out you actually like it's why when you're creating a an animation you actually want to move things in small increments so again um, if you move it really quickly it's going to actually jump all the way all the way across the page that's a uh, basic animation skills so when you're getting ready to um, save your work you're just going to click on um, download basically so you would actually click save here and then you're going to give your animation a name and you can save it as an animation file or save it as GIF. I would always save it as GIF. It's the most standard version that most people use. And you can share it on social media and that's actually one of those things where the kids can actually create their own stuff and actually upload it to social media and like to show off what they've created. Um, so you just save it there. So I'll, I'll name it animation. So I'll save it there. And it's going to be saved now. Saving it. And what I'm going to do is download it or convert it to a, a video file or something like that, you know. But um, I would always, I think what I did is I just downloaded the, the GIF. And so that way I can open that when it's downloaded. Here I'm showing the animated GIF I've created. Okay, you can see that I've, I've downloaded that so you can see that. Okay, so that should finish up. Thank you for watching.